Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and another tutorial. Today we're going to work on a hexagon cardigan. So as always, I don't like to dawdle, so let's get started. So let's go ahead and begin. We're going to start off with a magic circle. If you do not know how to do a magic circle, you can go to one of my tutorials or you can chain six and then make your stitches from there. So once you've made your magic circle, go ahead and chain three. Turn your work, making sure that your tail is on top. Now we're going to make six clusters of three double crochets. So that chain three counts as a double crochet. You're going to add two more double crochets. Then chain one. And add three double crochets again. And you're going to do this six times. Okay, so I'm back. And now I am at the end of the row. Go ahead and chain one. And now you're going to slip stitch into the very top chain from the three chain of the previous row. And chain three. So now we're going to go in between each of our clusters. Those three clusters that we made, we're going to go in between with double crochets. Okay, so now this is our chain from the previous row and those two double crochets. We're now going to go in between our clusters. So in between that last three clusters and the first three clusters that you made, you're going to make three double crochets. Well, actually only two because your chain counts as a double crochet. So put two more double crochets in that space there. Now, once you've made your two double crochets into that same space, we're going to go into the next section with another, with a corner. So that in between that first, those three, first three double crochet clusters and your second double crochet clusters, you're going to make three double crochets, chain one, and another three double crochets into the same space. This is your first corner. So now I'm going to make my last two double crochets here. Remember, we're only making corners right now. And there's your first corner. Well, actually, technically, it's your second corner. So now we do that again in between those next three clusters. Continue, and I will be back. Okay, so now I'm back at the end of row two, and we have all of our clusters here. You should have set uh, six corners when you're done. So at the end of your row, when you make your last corner, go ahead and chain one. Now you're going to add three more double crochets into that same space. This is going to complete your sixth cluster. So once you've made your three double crochets, go ahead and slip stitch into that top stitch there, the top uh, stitch of the chain three from the previous row and chain three. And from your, for your next row, you're going to go in between that, uh, those six double crochets and make two double crochets because your chain counts as a double crochet. So now in your next section, we're going to put three double crochets into this side section here, right where I have my finger, because if you just go over into the corner, it's going to bend, it's going to fold in. So you want to make three double crochets here and then go into your corner and make your three double crochets Chain one, three double crochets, and do that all the way around. So I'm at the end of row three. I've made my last corner. Now we're going to go ahead and chain one. And now go into that section with your three double crochets. Just like in the previous row, we do this for every row that we go around. Once you've made those three double crochets, do not chain one. Just go right into the stitch with a slip stitch. As you can see, I'm taking that out because I was not supposed to chain one. So do not chain one. Make your last stitch and then go ahead and slip stitch into that top of that chain three. And then chain three. 
So now when you get back to the end of the row again, you make your chain three or your slip stitches. Go ahead and make your two single crochets again in the beginning like we did before. Remember that chain counts as a double crochet. And then in your next section, you're going to make three double crochets. And there's another section right before that corner. Make another three double crochets. And then after you make your three, now go into your side stitches. As you go up, those side stitches are going to increase. So for your next row, you will have three side double crochets. Okay, so I have all of my rows done and I'm on my final row here. I'm going to slip stitch and chain three. Now I'm going to continue on. You're going to make some more rows, another round of your stitches, except you're only going to crochet over four sides. So when I come back, I'm going to have crocheted over five sides of my panel here you do have to do both sides so it's best to just go ahead and crochet around those four sides for both of your panels and then when i'm done i will be back and we can continue okay so i have all of my rounds done here this is what it should look like when you fold it it should have an l shape on there that's how you know you're doing it correctly so this is the inner side of the garment and this is the sleeves so now we're going to go ahead and work on bringing those sleeves together on top okay so now we're going to take and turn this right wrong side out so that we can begin slip stitching along the cross so now when you turn your work your hook and everything is going to be towards the back go ahead and put your hook in between those two stitches in between your corner stitch in the middle and then take it and put it in the back in the same stitch as your other three double crochets so watch me do that again go ahead and take your hook put it in between that corner stitch and then again into the same space where you have those three double crochets and make a slip stitch Now we're just going to slip stitch all the way across. So now you have your next set of double crochets here. That's a part of that corner, those three double crochets. You're going to take your hook and you're going to go into the front and the back. So take your hook and put it into the front loop of those three double crochets there. So I'm sorry, in the back loop. So you're gonna go into the back loop of the front panel and in the front loop of the back panel. So go into that first double crochet there after the first cluster, Go, you're going into the second cluster from the previous row into that first double crochet there you're going to put your hook into the front loop i'm sorry in the back loop i put it in the back loop and then make a slip stitch so you're going to do that all the way across i'm at the end of the row and i'm making my last slip stitch and this is what it looks like on the wrong side remove, remove my hook and i'm going to go ahead and turn it right side out and i'm going to show you what it looks like on the mannequin i'll be back okay so this is what she looks like on the mannequin we're not there just yet again if you are a larger side you want to add more rounds but this is the front portion and the side portion here and that's what it looks like on top of that sleeve so let's keep going. Now you want to take your hook and put it into that first double crochet there of that corner. You're going to put it in the second group in your second cluster of three double crochets. Put it right into that top stitch there into that first double crochet. And go ahead and chain one, two, and three. 
now we're gonna we're gonna do our stitches just like we did before go back into the stitch with two double crochets remember you're th chaining three counts as a double crochet and now continue your pattern all the way around now we're at the top of where the sleeve is we're at the end where we ended our sleeve now if you look at the picture here you will see that there's a big gap in the middle that is normal when you make your cardigan it's normal to have a gap there so what we have to do is fill in that gap by just going back and forth with our pattern I'm going to do about three rows I'm going to show you how to start it off and then we'll continue from there okay so now I'm at that corner this is right where you stopped at your sleeve when you made your slip stitches at this corner here you're going to go ahead and put your hook into the second cluster so not the first three double crochets that you make but the second set of double crochets that you make go ahead and put your um and then go back into the stitch with another two double crochets now you're just gonna follow your pattern all the way around when you get to an area where there's a corner go ahead and make your corner with your three double crochets chain one three double crochet all in the same space so i'm going to make my double crochets going around so i have all of my sides done together i did both panels for my sleeves and both panels for the back portion and i just did a couple of rows of the sleeves you can make it as long as you want to but now i'm going to show you how to make how to bring the back piece together. I decided to start on the bottom and work my way up on our garment here. This side is the back side of the cardigan. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to, how to bring these two ends together. Okay, now go ahead and insert your hook right in between your corner stitch there, between those double crochets and then put your hook back into the other side on the other panel again add your yarn and if you know an easier way to do this you can try it that way as well pull through both and then chain one so we can make our way across now just simply grab your cardigan and turn it to the side now, just like we did before with our sleeves, we're going to go through each and every stitch with a back, um, with a slip stitch. So into that first double crochet, you're going to go through both of your loops on both panels. Go straight through, pull up, and go ahead and make your slip stitch. Going through both loops, both loops on that front panel. And the next two on the back panel there, make sure you're going into those stitches just like as if you were making a regular stitch and make your slip stitch. So I'm going to do this down to the bottom. I'm going to do the other side as well. So we and I'm, when I come back, <laughs> I will show you what it looks like on the mannequin. OK, so this is what she looks like when she's all done. As you can see, I came in a few more rows with those with my pattern here and then I went around with some single crochets all the way around you don't have to do that if you don't want to but this is what she looks like there's our sleeves and then this is what the back looks like all the way up to the back I think I'm gonna have to block it just lay it down and block it but that's what that looks like you see how you double crochets your groups of double crochets are nice and close together and so that is it that's what she looks like i think it is so cute aside from me really not liking that yarn i love the colors very nice all colors so i want to thank you for watching this tutorial please don't forget to like and subscribe and Come back to for another come back to <laughs> come back for another tutorial. Have a great day, guys. Bye bye.